What up? What up, everybody? Now, this uh, video is going out to a good buddy. Well, not we've never met each other, but I've taken the time to enjoy his podcast, Mr. Vince Russo. It's kind of a, a response video to his latest live. Now, I know that it, all you see is the light in here, but I will clarify that I am here because I'm just putting the phone down and being hands-free and speak and talk. Your last live video. Uh, you know, want to know something? I've taken that to heart. Now, not in a bad way, not in a good way. Kind of a little of both. Kind of tell you a little bit about me. I'm, I'm a balanced person. I'm a Libra. I balance stuff out. Now, I've listened really, really closely to what you were saying in that live broadcast that you put up, right? Now, forgive my latest live broadcast, for that's just an example of how crazy this shit has uh, brought me. But that's me. I can separate myself from myself. I can look in the mirror and see the differences. I can look in the mirror and look at everything I've done now and look at what I'm doing now and say that, yeah, a lot of it could actually be looked at as a waste of time. But in my history of doing things, I've always left a little thing here and there that actually always gives a little bit of a message. So whenever I do a video and stuff like that, it's always been important. One thing is for sure, I've done my uh, promos on here, and you're talking about realizing who you are and what you're doing here, blah, blah, blah. And you talk about family and stuff. I got no family here. I got my boss and his family, I'll tell you that. But I'll tell you, I got nobody. Everybody fucked off. And you say I'm missing out on, on, on life stuff. Well, show me around here something worth, uh, you know, going out and hanging out and, and with friends. Because to be totally honest with you, Vince, I'm in an environment which looks good, but people that get attracted to me usually are people who just want to drain you and keep you down. I just want to let you know that. People that would take my talent and laugh at it, okay, and tell me, oh, you, you're better off fucking sweeping the broom, which I am doing right now, just to let you know that. It's, that it's that, you know, I do have a real job I do besides kicking everybody else's ass here on the internet and YouTube and stuff like that, and also thinking I'm the big shit. Well, I have to tell you, Vince, I'm, I, I'm very, very convinced. I'm very, very convinced. I mean, uh, if, if I showed you all the documentation, everything that's been recorded, everything that I have written down, that's been shared over the years, and all the, the recorded hits that were spontaneous, simultaneous, simultaneously, like in a row, of the, uh, it just happened within two years span i was getting all these top fan hits on facebook now i know you guys are looking at facebook and youtube and all that blah 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 blah, 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 blah. look at man it's another site that was responding to things i was throwing out there so i, I i'm just uh, i'm kind of confused so I, I i go look back to to what you were saying about um why am I doing this? Like, why, why do I put all these hours into watching videos and watching, watching the superstars do what they do, which is a, a dancing thing? And the way you describe it, it's fake wrestling. It's you know, guys beating each other up and blah, blah, blah. I mean, they, I, I think uh, something's just been very, very lost in Mr. Vince Russo, if you don't mind me analyzing that, is the fan in Vince Russo has died. The fan in Vince Russo's died. He's no longer a fan of wrestling, so he can't channel that point anymore. So I apologize if that insults you, but that's my realization. Since there's an analyzation of YouTubers out there that put their time in. And here's me, sitting up here for about 15 years, right Vince? 
right? It's 15, a little bit more than 15 years, and I've got how many videos up there, you know, and, and analytics, and, you know, how many predictions, how many storylines did I go along with with, with, with uh, Seth Rollins in the past there? Um, look, man, between you and me, regardless on if the government was stopping our communications, our communications were very, very clear back and forth. I, I, I just, I, I sit here and I say, I've been doing all this. I've been uh, uh, an angel on people's shoulders, plus people being angels on my shoulder. And a lot's changed in me. Vince, a lot's changed over the years. I, uh, I, 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 can I be a little personal here for a second? I mean, like several years ago, I was living in a room, apartment, in an apartment building that was entirely consist of room apartments, right? Full of cockroaches. Now, let me tell you something, Vince. I, I'm, I'm 10 times better than I was like then, then right now. I'm in a better situation. Now, that's not money being made by anything I've done online. I did that all myself. Money I've made sweeping floors and shit. The stuff I do up on here is from heart. It's stuff I see online. I coexist with storylines. I put things up. So getting back to what do I do all this for, like I ask myself, that same question too, especially with when I don't get any responses from fans. I ask myself that. Maybe I'm not, maybe, maybe I'm not cut out for, for all this stuff because the fans just see me as just some poser out here trying to uh, do what everybody else does and make a name for themselves on a podcast. Uh, maybe, maybe make a little bit of money on the side, you know? Um, look, I've been screaming and yelling at you guys all this time that you should be putting me on your top fucking list. If I had a scene a couple of years ago, my videos go skyrocket and stuff. Don't you think I would have put more effort into more videos and would have put some money into some other stuff like a better studio? You know, things would have moved a little bit more quicker if you guys had to help me build this thing up. But no, you guys saw, no, is this blame shifting? No, it's clear as day. I've seen it. I know I've been up here. I do my promos. I do my podcasts. I sit, express what I feel I need to say every once in a while. And uh, to you guys, it looks like I'm just some Joe Schmo in a hoodie uh, or or a basement apartment with his uh, living with his family or living with his friends or living living with his mom no man I live all by my little lonesome think about that now Vince between you and me I've reached out many many times now I know I contacted you. It was clear, clear. In, in the way you talk, and the way you talk to, to, to some things, and the way you jibber. I don't know why you don't say my name. I don't understand why my name seems to be something that nobody can say out there. Nobody is mentioning me. Don't you find that odd? I find it very odd. Vince, Russo, maybe, maybe you could do me a favor, you know, because I'm the rig, the rigster, the rig maestro out here at the rig point. Pick one. Pick a name. I right? challenge this. I challenge you to give me a shout out. Because to be totally honest, that's one thing that I've actually been looking for. 
out here in the YouTube world, you know? Somebody to go, you know something, Pat? And give me a pat on the back, right? And say, I'm proud of you. You know? Let me tell you something, Vince. My mom and my dad aren't here. My brother's gone. My kids? Hey, this clearly displayed in the videos prior. I have two kids out there that are complete brats. And my son's good. He's doing his own thing. Me, oh, I got everything that I need at home here, but it's like that old cliche, you get everything and then you're stuck at home alone. Okay. I don't know if I'm illustrating to you what it's like for me. and Why I deserve to be acknowledged, not just in the WWE or in AEW. Why I should be acknowledged to you, the public. So I, ho I hope this opens up a door to you to understand where I'm coming from when I've had nothing but silence come from everybody else. Remember that old saying that Triple H used to say? If a tree goes down in the bush and nobody's there to hear it, does it make a sound? You know, like that, that, you, you know? I could put fingers on a lot of things, you know? A lot of things. But between you and me, bro, I have to say, I am very grateful that you heard me. And I am appreciative of your advice. So thank you. Thank you very much. Have a great one. And Merry Christmas.